thank you so much um, for your time today. Quite an interesting day here with the Kenyan president. I think maybe just sum up what that means for yeah. for you guys here at Translate Engineering. So first of all, I think it was a privilege to receive him today. I mean, it's not every day that you get a president who's interested in walking the factory floor. And I think that was central to the discussion today was not to tell him what we do, but to show him what we do. And it really fits in with our African strategy at this stage because, yes, we can compete for, for tenders against the Chinese and the Indian who else in, in Africa, but that's really a once-off sort of uh, sale. What we're looking really to establish is government-to-government -government relationships which have a much longer-term prospect and which we look at co-creating freight moving, not just rail, freight moving capabilities in Africa. So we, we, we'd like to see the supply chain uh, extend right into Africa eventually. You know, this is not South Africa just trying to sell odds and ends to, to Africa. So it fits in with that strategy really well. And I think what we spoke of today in terms of maintenance, refurbishment, of, of um, getting old rolling stock back into service, sweating those assets. Because let's face it, everybody's cash strapped at this stage. And being able to return old rolling stock is probably a much better uh, idea at this stage than, than trying to flog uh, new equipment. The meter gauge is not a huge challenge for us. Obviously, we, are, we specialize in cape gauge. But uh, our research and development team have been working on it quite hard. How are you going with your standard gauge bogey? Progressing well. It's, it's being tested at the university at the moment. It's showing good results at this stage. Restructuring of the business, it's been a while since I last chatted to you, yes. so obviously there should be progress, COVID aside. Uh, where are you guys at with that? Yeah, it's been quite a journey. Uh, 18 months um, since I joined, just a little bit more than 18 months now. But uh, we have a comprehensive strategy in place. Uh, the first phase was to, to reorganize the business into clearly manage manageable and measurable business units. Mm. I think that was key. You know, we are first and foremost the business. And yes. we had to get that sort of thinking into the system. So we've reorganized now. We aligned with the TFR corridor strategies. Each of the corridors now has an executive manager. Mm -hmm. um, and we're running them as a business. Uh, manufacturing has been separated totally. We're now talking about the centers as plants, manufacturing plants. We've redesignated the centers as plants now. And uh, reorganizing even the businesses within manufacturing. What we found with the discrete coaches, locomotives and wagons business is if you're in coaches business and there's no business, then you just sit on your toolbox. Mm. You know, so what we're focusing on is creating uh, production lines around the country. Each production line uh, could be multi-purpose. Uh, this year doing wagons, next year doing coaches. We're not naive to think it's going to be an easy job that. So we've set up a prototype production line here in Kudusburt in Bay 1 and we're pushing different types of business through it at the moment to see how it's functioning. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, in phase two of our strategy, and we've got to be honest about this, is uh, we have to shape to the affordable business. You know, with the, the current uh, cost structures that we have, we'll never be competitive on the continent. So taking that very commercial approach to it, I can foresee that in, in the next year we'll be restructuring quite extensively. And then just to jump to, to Tal, yes. um, I see Tal number, was that Tal number three? Three, okay. yeah. yeah. Uh, which means there has been progress, so yes. what, what's happening <laughs> with the, is it still called the Trans-African Yes, we, okay. we're keeping it Tal now. <laughs> Look, I think the Tal is a, is a great story. We've, we've managed to, to take the information from the building under license, we've learned from that process. And we're now really in a position we can build our own locomotives, you know. And I think TAL 3 in particular is significant because it has our own control system on board. Mm. So even if we have to reverse engineer uh, other OEM uh, locomotives eventually, we will be able to do it because we have the intellectual property of being able to build our own control systems now. So TAL is exciting. We've had one down in, uh, in Saldana where it was doing shunting duty at the Tipler. It's coming back to have a compressor upgrade uh, to give it more capability there. Uh, TAL uh, 2 has been shunting out to Pyramid. Okay. Uh, we're looking at the moment of, of a power by the hour option for one of our clients where they'll, where they'll hire a full service TAL uh, for their requirements, uh, complete service to everything. So really shifting to a power by the hour business model. 
And then based on what we've learned on the tell, we, we're looking at taking uh, some of the older class 37s, 34s, things like that, keeping the chassis and bogies because that's the most expensive part, mm -hmm. and then totally putting a new top structure on it using the tell uh, control systems and powertrain at the end of it. So we're hoping to from that to be able to build a, a 18 ton uh, uh, loco that we're good for shunting and, and branch lines, mm. but also at a reduced price uh, level to what TAL is today. Okay, because TAL is still quite expensive. Anyway. It is, it is, you know, and not especially... Not like a brand new locomotive, not like a... Yeah, but, still expensive. But, but you know, I think uh, TAL has the challenge to me that Roy Falk had in the defense industry. Okay. Brilliant engineering, really top of its class, but difficult to sell to people, you know, mm. especially when you're talking the numbers we are. So we're really looking at uh, being able to build small production runs of TEL. Uh, we're hoping to put 10 into service in, in Transnet next year, uh, in shunting duties and branch line duties, and then we'll take it from there. But to me, the real potential is the intellectual property that we've gained from this, and how we will be able to plow that into, into uh, refurbishing old locomotives, mm. and, and really having a cost-effective solution at the end of the day. Are you guys looking at renewable energy, the hydrogen, yes. and the conversion of those engines. So, so I think uh, what we're really doing is aligning our research and development strategy with Transnet strategy now, which has been a weak point in the past. Mm. So in principle, we are looking at de-electrifying the network eventually. The, the cable theft is not going to be resolved in the long run, and we really have to look at, at alternative propulsion systems. So we probably will be investing more heavily in diesels in the next period, um, also then uh, looking at converting diesels to gas powered as an entrance step. Mm -hmm. We've actually got a design completed and we're going to take an ATE shunter and, and convert it to, to gas powered mm -hmm. uh, ourselves. And then in the long run move to, to uh, hydrogen fuel cell powered uh, locomotives. We, we might even skip the, the, the uh, conversion to gas because you know by that time there's at least four locomotives in the world that are running at the mm. moment on hydrogen. Yes, they are. You know, and one of our challenges and why we'll have to keep electric on some routes is, is that you can't run a combustion engine through our tunnels. Mm. They, they uh, choke off. Yes. So we'll have to look at that. Um, Ralph, thank you very much for your time. Thank it's, you. It's uh, been a lovely day out. Uh, thank you very much for the opportunity to chat to you guys. You know, one of our key strategic objectives is to look at the overarching industry and to find our place within that industry. And I think in the coming months and year, we'll be engaging a lot more on that issue.